Now to our climate and crisis coverage and a possible game changer in the fight against climate change. Greenhouse gas methane is a real troublemaker when it comes to the climate. Most of it comes from cows and other grazing animals as they break down plants. But as NBC Barrier's Marion Faber reports, UC Davis researchers have just discovered that a simple ingredient found in sushi, of all things, could be the trick for drastically cutting down on methane. Cows are constantly chewing. Problem is, as they break down what they eat, they also belch out a lot of methane. Methane is uh, what's called a, a greenhouse gas, and what greenhouse gas do is they trap heat from the environment, which then eventually becomes the warming of the of the climate. But at UC Davis, researchers found feeding dairy cows small portions of seaweed drastically reduced how much methane they produced. So in our dairy study, we found up to a 67% reduction in methane. And that's not all. These cattle are bred for beef, and when researchers fed them the seaweed diet, the results were even more impressive. They saw an 82% reduction in methane. The UC Davis scientists used this special machine several times a day to measure the methane in the cow's breath. The theory is that the seaweed inhibits an enzyme in the cow's digestive system, so it produces less methane. But will the seaweed diet impact the taste of milk, cheese, and beef? While researchers did not test the flavor of milk and cheese from the dairy cows, they did conduct a taste test comparing steak from seaweed-fed steers to traditional steak. We had 112 people uh, tasting the, uh, the, the, the um, uh, beef and they could not see any, they, they could not detect any difference in taste. UC Davis animal science professor Dr. Hermias Cabrab, who conducted the seaweed study, says the cows received just three ounces a day, and it appears to be a low-cost solution to get up to an 82% reduction in methane. This has a huge implication for the dairy industry because uh, the state has a mandate to reduce methane emissions by 40% in the next nine years. While more research needs to be done, the seaweed diet may be the first step in reducing greenhouse gases in agriculture and creating a more sustainable burger. At UC Davis, Marianne Favreau, NBC Bay Area News.